I wasn't this strong when I started a book by Lee Gutkind. Hi there, I hope you're doing well, I hope you're taking care of yourself and I hope that everything is going well for you. Welcome to Elevate Nursing. My name is Naskate and today we are reviewing the book I Wasn't This Strong When I Started by Lee Gutkind. This is part of our monthly book review where we put together books by um, healthcare professionals, be it nurses, doctors, um, paramedics, counselors, psychologists and so on. And from this we get to experience or I'll get to share with you professional experiences from different people in different parts of the world and this for sure is going to enrich our professional lives if not our personal lives. So today we're going to be reviewing Lee Gutkind's I Wasn't This Strong When I Started. This book is a compilation of um, several nursing stories of individuals who are at different points of their professional lives. It also looks at um, the experiences that patients have when they interact with these professionals. Now, I read this book from the end of 2020 and I, get, and I got to pick out chunks or bite-sized pieces of it, reading it through and through until this time when I figured let me share this book with you. Now, Lee Gutkind has very has put together these nursing stories at very profound points of their professional lives in a way that was quite reflective of the year 2020, one that was the year of the nurse and the midwife, and it was the year that we experienced the um, pandemic extensively. So what I got to pick out or what I really learned from this book is the resilience that nursing and nurses have and from that the power of our empathy as professionals and the extent to which we the, the things we can achieve rather as um, professionals if we really drive into professional curiosity and going all out to take care of others the impact that that can have one on patients the second is that the impact it can have on us as professionals and thirdly the impact that it's going to have on the profession and that is both nursing and midwifery. So one of the stories that really stood out for me is a story of a um, nurse who got into the profession at a very um, late stage as she was transitioning from another profession into nursing. And some of the challenges that she experiences or that she experienced on an individual basis interacting with other nurses. And not only that is the resilience that we ought to have as individuals, not only as professionals individually, what that does is it carries us through the profession and we're able to change other people's lives as we go on. At the same time, the resilience that we build at this time is reflective or is reflected as we, um, as we teach our patients to be resilient as they go through illnesses. So that's a very important one. I will be very hazy with these stories as I'm trying not to give out any spoilers. Another story that really stood out for me is in terms of the pandemic, um, a story of a time when a nurse was taking care of a homeless individual who had HIV AIDS and as they take care of these people you see that there is a lot of courage that the nurse exhibits at this time and when there was a lot of um, propaganda there was a lot of uh, fears around HIV and AIDS and what really the nurses did to make the patients who are going through this um, feel accepted, feel loved, feel um, understood. It takes a lot of empathy and it's a very creative, they, they did extremely creative things in terms of patient care at the time. Going through and through and making sure that these patients are heard and that their considerations are put into action. It means a lot. It reminds me of um, of, a, of, a, of an experience of some patients, some of the patients who are going through the pandemic that is COVID-19. And this is in Moe Teaching and Referral Hospital in Eldoret. And in a webinar, we were, a, a presentation was being made by the deputy DNS uh, from MTRH, is that one of the things that they did for the patients at that time was to have 
compassionate or care companions so the patient can say i'd like to have a, a relative to have as a companion during this time and this really does help to take care of patients psychological well-being so that they are not overwhelmed and they're with somebody who understands them because we do understand as well the dynamics during a pandemic is that there is the professional bit where nurses can give what it can provide care there is also uh, counselors doctors psychologists and so on but there is a bit where having a care companion who is with you m through and through really gives the patient stability and that's really important and that's a very creative aspect of care that i got to see during this pandemic that is ongoing and i got to see that as well during um the time that hiv and aids was a quite a rife pan pandemic in the 80s and in the 90s 70s 80s and 90s yeah but at this time in, with 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 uh, hiv aids at least from this book i got to see that the stigma was really managed by how we as nurses um support these patients and therefore the stigma is decreased if not completely uh, removed within or from the society so that really is the impact of nursing and it was it gave me a lot of it gave me a profound look into what our potential as healthcare professionals and the advantage of all this put together is that nurses and midwives are the highest or the largest group of um, professional healthcare workers so if you think about what you can do as an individual and then pass it on to another nurse, what we can in some do as a group is extremely, extremely important and extremely effective in times of a pandemic. Other experiences that I looked at were nurses who were getting into the field during um, emergency room nurses, nurses who are getting into critical care and nurses who are at the end of their professional lives and they're retiring and at that point you really question, oh, so what do I do now as a nurse? Because it is part, it becomes part of your life. It becomes a lifestyle to an extent. So what you do at that point is to turn around and be a mentor to other nurses who are coming up behind you. So that's, those are just some of the experiences that I picked on from this book. The best thing that I, the, some of the best things about this book is that it is extremely realistic. It is both um, profound as it is extensive. Um, the nursing stories are from very vulnerable points in these nurses' lives, but you see that there is a lot of hope in these stories that they share and they go, get through these tough times. There are as well very funny moments within the book itself, so I will leave that to you to read and I recommend strongly that you read this book. What I didn't really like about it, um, I don't see anything really that I didn't really like about it. I had the hard copy and then I lost it and I continued to listen to the audiobook and this one is available in via script. So that is the downside, but that's on me. So that's not really something that I found um, negative about the book. I would, I believe that there are bits of stories that are translated. So one of the other most exciting things about this book is that as you listen to it, um, you get to realize, you get to see where these nurses are now. So they tell you that this is the story of this nurse and this is where this nurse is at this moment. So you get a sense of longevity. And if you're interested in one nursing story, then you can pick on and find these nurses wherever they are and continue to see what they're doing with their professional lives. That's the most exciting bit. That's one of the most exciting bits about it because there were so many um there were so many good things that came out of this book so that's that you can access this book through a uh, script if you'd like an audio version of it it is available on amazon and you can let me know because i have checked uh in textbook center in kenya i haven't really gotten to i haven't found it in uh, in text in textbook center but i did let them know so whenever it's available i'll let you guys know that and if you would like to know more about these books that we are reviewing or if you'd like to recommend to us a book to review you can follow us on facebook instagram and twitter we are at elevate nursing and if you have found this book review interesting exciting informative all that you can like and subscribe to our youtube channel we strive to share with you videos that are on professional development for nurses and midwives on a weekly basis all in all thank you for being a part of this and until next time elevate nursing take care bye